Okay, another glue joint cutter. Uh, this one, the, the cutter setting wants to be at this 16 millimeter dimension, wants to be exactly half of the material thickness. So that's how we set this up. This one would work really well in an automatic shaper because you would just set it, zero setting would be half this 16 dimension and then you would just put in half your material thickness for the height of the cutter. So it works pretty simple actually and it's uh, cutting circles at 130 so we, uh, we set it at 130 and then taking a one millimeter offset here. Okay, we're going to show the, uh, the one millimeter offset in the fence. Yeah, it's bumping there. Yeah. yeah, and it can be a millimeter, it could be a sixteenth, it, you know, it's whatever, however you work. So the cutter is pretty simple. Once you get it centered and taking the correct edge removal, it's, uh, you just run them both the same side up, and then when you, when you put together, they're both run this side up. And then you just simply flip one, and perfect joint. Okay, hey, another method for using these uh, glue joint cutters, it works really well. Instead of offsetting the fence, we're using the uh, outside fence on the shaper. So we're going to turn the feeder, instead of turning the feeder this way, we're going to turn the feeder so it pushes material into the fence. And so this, the simplicity of this, it eliminates any sniping. So all you need is a straight edge from your jointer or S4S machine on this side. And we should get perfect results with the uh, shaping using this method.